MovieWeb.com. Glasses. Glasses. Glasses, John! <laughs> I'm suspending you both. Questions? Any chance I can get the magazine back, sir? Don't lie to me, John Lennon. Without me, you would be in a children's home. Just remember that. I found out where your mom lives. She'll hurt you. You know that, don't you? It's bad of all the <laughs> Your boyfriend wouldn't be happy now, would he? He's not my boyfriend. What is he, then? He's my cousin. But he's going for a quick chat. At the moment, you're going nowhere. There's nowhere for the geniuses, sir. Uh, so I probably do belong there. The movie uh, really, you know, we're used to seeing biopics, you know, like Ray and, and Walk yeah. the Line, where it's about the artist in that period that we know. Yeah. And it's interesting to see kind of the backstory of, of the character. Yeah, I mean, I was really interested in seeing how he discovered rock and roll and how that influenced the music and how Elvis was such a huge um, starting point of inspiration for him and, and coupled with the pain that he went through, um, you know, in his personal life that obviously fed into all of that. Uh, and I know that you actually uh, got some notoriety early in your career for a photograph that yeah. uh, was uh, inspired by the Annie Leibovitz famous yeah. John and Yoko photograph. So I was wondering if John has always Spooky been sort of a fascination. Of is, is that just a coincidence or have you always had a fascination It was a complete coincidence in the sense that I think what I was looking at with that photograph was not necessarily recreating a Lennon and Yoko photograph, but I was more interested in the sort of male vulnerability and uh, the strong woman and all of those projections from that picture. But yeah, slightly... Um, slightly strange that I did that then. Yeah, interesting. Uh, and then I w wanted to, because the interest, the relationship between John and his aunt is so yeah. interesting in the movie mm. played by Kirsten Scott Thomas. I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about their relationship and how her yeah. influence really influenced his life. Well, Aunt Mimi was a powerful influence on John because she was the one who brought him up and she taught him um, about poetry and Oscar Wilde and she taught him about painting and Van Gogh and she was, she was very um, cultured and she wanted him to be so. So I think that's where you know the drawing and the poetry came from and then from his mother's side much more sort of teaching him rock and roll and music and Elvis and and so you know the influence of those two women was pretty powerful and when he finally meets his mom um, obviously that's a big influence on him but then the yeah. devastation when he loses her yeah can you talk about how that sort of shaped his life and shaped the John Lennon that we came to know well uh, what I feel is that and what he said was that after the death of his mother the Beatles was like a front for that pain you know he could stand there and he could hide behind this this personality so you know you can sort of see it the way that his mouth is much more sort of tight-lipped and he's sort of like quite you know sort of I don't know he, he kind of holds himself in a very different way to when you see him when he's with Yoko when he's sort of found love again and sort of sort of opened up spiritually so so I feel that um, it definitely that pain sort of fed into it um, it's it's, um, I think it's sort of quite evident in the film. And then finally, um, casting Aaron and sort of yeah. shaping him into, you know, into John, young John Lennon. Yeah, that, that, was, that was a really fun thing to work on because I kept saying to him, I don't want an impersonation and I don't want you to mimic him. I really want you to just embody the spirit and soul of Lennon. And so we went on that journey, which was very different to constantly sort of trying to pick up mannerisms. And, and that was, you know, fascinating to try and get into the head and heart and soul of, of the man, and that was really the best thing about making this film. <laughs> And is this with the new group? They were, oh, what are they called again? The Cat. Oh.